In school we learn that mistakes are bad, and we are punished for making them. Yet, if you look at the way humans are designed to learn, we learn by making mistakes. We learn to walk by falling down. If we never fell down, we would never walk. You're only poor if you give up. The most important thing is that you did something. Most people only talk and dream of getting rich. You've done something. If you're the kind of person who has no guts, you just give up every time life pushes you. If you're that kind of person, you'll live all your life playing it safe, doing the right things, saving yourself for something that never happens. Then, you die a boring old man. Emotions are what make us human. Make us real. The word emotion stands for energy in motion. Be truthful about your emotions, and use your mind and emotions in your favor, not against yourself. We all have tremendous potential, and we all are blessed with gifts. Yet, the one thing that holds all of us back is some degree of self-doubt. It is not so much the lack of technical information that holds us back, but more the lack of self-confidence. Stop blaming me, thinking I'm the problem. If you think I'm the problem, then you have to change me. If you realize that you're the problem, then you can change yourself, learn something and grow wiser. Most people want everyone else in the world to change themselves. Let me tell you, it's easier to change yourself than everyone else. Just know that it's fear that keeps most people working at a job. The fear of not paying their bills. The fear of being fired. The fear of not having enough money. The fear of starting over. That's the price of studying to learn a profession or trade, and then working for money. Most people become a slave to money and then get angry at their boss. The power of can. The word can't makes strong people weak, blinds people who can see, saddens happy people, turns brave people into cowards, robs a genius of their brilliance, causes rich people to think poorly, and limits the achievements of that great person living inside us all. I can't afford it shut down your brain. It didn't have to think anymore. Besides, it also brings up sadness. A helplessness that leads to despondency and often depression. How can I afford it? Opened up the brain. Forced it to think and search for answers. It also opens up possibilities, excitement and dreams and created a stronger mind and dynamic spirit. Rule number one, you must know the difference between an asset and a liability, and buy assets. If you want to be rich, this is all you need to know. It is rule number one. It is the only rule. This may sound absurdly simple, but most people have no idea how profound this rule is. Most people struggle financially because they do not know the difference between an asset and a liability. Rich people acquire assets. The poor and middle class acquire liabilities that they think are assets. It is not much different from a person who goes to the gym to exercise on a regular basis versus someone who sits on the couch watching television. Proper physical exercise increases your chances of health, and proper mental exercise increases your chances for wealth. Laziness decreases both health and wealth. The rich does not work for money, but money work for them while the poor work for money. Illiteracy, both in word and numbers, is the foundation of financial struggle. Wealth is a person's ability to survive so many number of days forward. Or if I stopped working today, how could I survive? Wealth is the measure of cash flow from to asset column compared with the expense column. Leverage can come in many forms. Leverage can be your thoughts. Stop people who win are careful with their thoughts, not saying I can't do that. Or it's too risky. Or I can't afford it. Instead they say how can I do that? Or how can I reduce my risk? Or how can I afford it? Most people have a price. And they have a price because of human emotions named fear and greed. First, the fear of being without money motivates us to work hard, and then once we get that paycheck, greed or desire starts us thinking about all the wonderful things money can buy. A pattern is then set, get up, go to work, pay bills, get up, go to work, pay bills. Their lives are then run forever by two emotions, fear and greed. Offer them more money, and they continue the cycle by also increasing their spending. This is what I call the rat race. I recommend to young people to seek work for what they will learn, more than what they will earn. Look down the road at what skills they want to acquire before choosing a specific profession and before getting trapped in the rat race. One of the reasons the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the middle class struggles in debt is because the subject of money is taught at home, not in school. Most of us learn about money from our parents. So what can a poor parent tell their child about money? They simply say stay in school and study hard. 
the child may graduate with excellent grades but with a poor person's financial programming and mindset. It was learned while the child was young, 